Hey guys, welcome to Prank Sam Postpartum TV. This week's postpartum workout is a Pilates hit fusion. I love this style of workout because it's great for getting cardio in as well as full body toning. I've made this workout safe if you have a diastasis recti or if you're recovering after a C-section, of course, after you've been cleared for exercise. Check with your doctor before starting this or any new exercise routine. Listen to your body, modify if you need to, and also watch your core and make sure you're not getting any coning or doming of the stomach during any of the moves. You don't need any equipment for this workout except a mat or a comfortable floor to get down on and some water to keep hydrated. I will keep making postpartum workouts every week. If you like videos like these, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll start with a short warm up and then I'll set the timer for 45 seconds of movement with a 15 second break or setup. Let's bring our feet wide apart. We can start with some arm circles, connecting to your breath. Good, let's bring it forward. Let's bring our feet wider apart. We can come down into a sumo stretch, stretch to the side and up, switching sides. Really feeling the stretch through your side body. Good. Last one here, coming up. Let's turn our toes forward and we'll lunge to the side, moving back and forth. Good, a couple more here. Get back up again, we'll move into some glute kicks, bringing your heels up towards your glutes, warming up your hamstrings, keeping your core engaged. We're gonna start the hip portion of the workout move. For the first one, we're gonna squat down with control, pulling in your lower belly, lift to the side, alternating sides. Now we're gonna turn to our left. You can bring your right leg forward. We'll get into a lunge position, getting your 90 degree angle. We're gonna hold here and open up a quarter turn, or for advanced, you can open up all the way. For diastasis recti, we're just gonna open up quarter turn. Belly is pulling in. On the other side, pulling in your lower belly, feel as if the two sides are pulling together, using your core to open up 
crossing over your leg. We're gonna do a modified high knees here, or if you wanna advance, do high impact, you can do high knees. Engaging your core. We're gonna get down on the ground. You can turn to your left. We'll set up for Pilates push-ups. You can extend your right leg behind you for a Pilates push-up. You're grazing your elbows to your ribs, or you can leave both knees down for modified. Keeping your belly button pulled into your spine. You can turn your lower foot in like a kickstand. We will extend and then we're going to bring Knee to elbow, core is engaged, and extend. Slow, controlled movements. Let's release down here into a side plank. Finding your position here or for modification, you can lie right down on the ground. We'll bring our knee in and heel foot up and rotate out. Rotate in and out. Core is engaged. releasing down. Let's take a quick sip of water before we move on to the other side.
mirroring me, we're gonna turn to our right. You can lift up your left leg for Pilates push-ups. And when you go down, grazing your ribs with your elbows. Core strong, belly pulling in. We can open up our hips to the front. We'll get ready for elbow and knee together. Pulling in your lower belly. Good, release down. We'll find our side plank, pushing into your forearm, lining up your knees and your elbow and your body. We'll go turn our leg in and out. You can either have your hand on your hip or down for more stabilization. We can get up safely. We're gonna do some skiers. We can go side to side, keeping that back foot off, and you can step or for advanced, you can hop back and forth. Core's engaged, pulling in. We'll set up for a curtsy lunge with control, pulling in your lower belly, bringing your knee up, hands in, alternating sides. Using your glute to come up.
We're gonna do a squat here, sinking down low as if you're sitting in a chair, and then come up, calf raise. Squeezing your legs and your back at the top. Getting down safely on your side, especially if you have diastasis recti, then rolling over. We're gonna do a bridge and then lift our knees or for modification, you don't have to lift your knee. Lifting up. Quick stretch between, setting up on the other side. Lower belly pulling in. Keeping your hips even as you lift your knee up, not letting one hip drop. Let's take a quick stretch on this side before we roll over for tricep dips. Good, release, rolling over on your side, getting up safely and setting up for tricep dips. Engaging your core. Releasing down, we're done the hip portion of the workout. We're gonna move into a little cool down. We started stretching out our glutes. Let's move and stretch the other side into a figure four stretch, sitting up tall, releasing into that hip. For a deeper stretch, you can press on your knee. Good, let's switch legs.
releasing out. Let's come into Janu Shirsasana, squaring your hips. You can lengthen one leg out and pull the other foot in. Inhale up, stretching forward. Still lengthen your spine, not collapsing over your leg, flexing your front foot. Coming up, let's open up and we can stretch to the side this time. Inhale up, let's switch to Janu Shirshasana on the other side. Inhale up, folding forward. We'll come up and open up our hips, point your foot and stretching to the side this way. Inhale up and you can pull your leg in to come to a cross-legged position. Thank you so much for joining me for that Pilates hip fusion workout today. I hope that you like it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Also, if you wanna get notified and to support me, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and share this with another mom friend or mom community that you think would enjoy it. I also have lots of free resources that I put together for moms you can grab from the description box below. I have a weight loss course that I put together as a registered dietitian and a bariatric educator. I have a monthly postpartum workout plan where you get a new workout for every day of the month. A complete diastasis recti healing guide for how I healed my four-finger diastasis recti gap after my pregnancy, as well as a guide on how to increase breast milk supply if you're struggling with supply postpartum. Thank you so much again for joining me. I'm also going to link to the whole postpartum playlist where you can find more yoga and postpartum workouts.